There is a lot of uh, uh, questions about uh, tulip fog and, and the way we know it so far with, with uh, some of this published research is that tulip fog, um, the reduction in the tulip fog is, is not necessarily or, or we don't have a clear understanding of it is related to climate change or not and so so, so far what we know is tulip fog is not directly related to climate change um, or, but it's more related to the cleaner air so since we are getting more cleaner air in this region that is one of the cause for reduction in the tulip fog and so um, that there is a research done by uh, a group of people at UC Berkeley and, and other places that, that have reported on this. Um, and um, just to summarize, I think we, we have a clear understanding of what is expected of climate change and what type of uh, impacts are projected of climate change that do give us the importance of adaptation in agriculture. We need to be doing more work on on uh, local adaptation practices, and so we need to to be more and more proactive, understanding local implications and local adaptation to make agriculture more resilient to climate risks. And then there are many ways in which adaptation uh, in agriculture uh, can be done. And then so depending on the region, depending on the the, the resources. Uh, different measures of adaptation, but uh, in general to make agriculture more resilient to these climate risks, um, climate adaptation in agriculture is critically important.